Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Tales of Arise. We're currently in the Berg Volcano. Um, we've been doing some exploring. Um, just got Callous. a bunch of stuff looted. Calcified. Calaglia. What kind of poem is that? <laughs> a sparse one. I'd say. Alright. This is going to take us forward. So this is kind of how much we have currently explored. Um, hold on. We did not go over here, did we? So we need to go back. Um, I'm all turned around. No, it is this way. Okay. Yeah. That's far enough. Take this. Let's Let's Let me see what I can do. Annihilation. Turn Take your blade. Take this. 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 Where are you going, bro? No further. My turn. I never miss. Primed and ready. Good stuff. Looks like it can be worth something. Okay, we're doing okay-ish on CP, but pretty soon we're gonna run out. <laughs> this bridge will hold itself together, right? Most definitely. Though I won't make any promises. Uh, wait, Which what? One is it? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, who gets the cape? It's gonna be you, right? Boom. Done. This is why we check the map. Alright, I don't know if I'll have enough CP to get the last two that are a little bit further in. Rocks melt before our eyes. Watch where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. So don't try anything funny. It's... I didn't know you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Not necessarily. Both of them contain Earth astral energy. Luckily for me, this area is rich not only in fire energy, but Earth as well. Okay, we're finding lots of gear. Absolute. Looks like that's for Alphen. Yeah, I like the copper. Thus our strength yet grows. Damn, I knew we'd be short. Um, okay. Let's check out the map. So it may just be a shortcut. We might not need that one. Either way, we're going to need to rest soon. That enemy looks strong. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Eat this! Denied! Three, my turn! Four, ten, 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 four,
Just short, one hit. Oh, I hate it when that happens, man. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. All right. Yeah, I think we're gonna just have to uh, get out. We've reached our destination. Wow, that's a lot of gold. You'd love to see it, huh? Looks like we can buy grape gels now. 2,800 instead of just 2,000. Definitely need some of those. And there we are on that one. Craft and equip. Looks like we're good on you too. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, we actually do want to equip a different one though because of the, uh, well, it only enhances those arts. It doesn't actually make regular attacks fire-based, right? So it shouldn't matter. Shouldn't matter too much. Um, okay. Don't need to worry about you two, I don't think, right now. Cool. Did we really just spend that much money? I've got a good amount of info on our enemies written down now. That's wonderful, Rinwell. I'm sure that data shall prove most useful. I like to think so. If there's anything you want to know, just ask. I don't think we've skipped any or missed any. Let's do attack up. All right, cuts duration, but boosts effect. Huh. I must admit, I'm rather proud of this dish. Yeah, let's do Law. Mind if I join you, Law? Hey, Law, about what you said before. When? You were telling me how there were things you wished you could have asked your dad. If you want, you can always come to me with your questions. What brought this on all of a sudden? Don't I already lean on you enough as it is? Still, there's plenty you would want to ask him if he was still alive, right? I mean, yeah, but... I think you'll have a hard time answering any of them, if I'm being honest. How come? I mean, the stuff I want to ask him about is, like... 
how we met my mom and how we won her over. <laughs> Stuff like that. How to deal with ladies. <sighs> anyway, not really something you can help with, right? You're right. Sorry, Law. I can't even begin to imagine how to help with that. You're telling me. I just wish there was someone experienced I could ask about this kind of stuff. Yeah, he was definitely that. <laughs> experienced with women. <laughs> yeah, Let's Alfin. Make sure to kick ass tomorrow, too. You're not, you, you do not know how to handle Xion, do you, buddy? Poor guy. <laughs> I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. Okay. Back in we go. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Think this is the right one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this might end up just being a shortcut. In fact, that's what I suspect, but you know me, I gotta do everything. Phoenix Cyclone! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Am I on a roll or what? You are on a roll. Who's in a bright and shiny mood? All right, moving forward. Let's go. Do a quick save. Okay, here comes the boss. Now we're doing pretty good right now, so let's not worry about that. He just saved, so we're good there as well. well pro oh my gosh, is this the guy we beat at the beginning of the game? been so long I don't remember if this is what he looked like or not. What the hell is that thing? It's gotta be different, right? Probably that monster Nath warned us about if I had to guess. Cool. Do you think it's this similar might have though, been isn't where it? one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy. We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go. Yeah, I think it's a similar being as to what we fought. This one's okay, Ifrit Malum. This is going to be a fight. Um, at any rate, let's... So you don't have fire stuff, do you? We have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Here it comes. Focus. On your toes, everyone. Primed and ready. Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared. Focus up before we become that thing's lunch. It's summoning Zoogle? Take care of them while keeping an eye on it. Get down! Get down! Okay, let's also focus on healing. Look sharp! 
Lightning Tiger Blade! Blade. Glacial Spear! Fierce Evil! Going in! Not in your dreams! Great Light Spear! finally hit this guy, I hope he doesn't have a large health pool, because we can't even touch him still. This one's mine. Take this. Like, is there a place where I can hit him? There doesn't seem to be. Just what I needed. I owe you the Not a problem. You like being pounded into This one's all mine. Bring it, Kisara. Bring it. Flares of Malisa. Kisara, Commander of Heaven. Phoenix Cyclone. Yeah. Technique. What are you doing up there, bro? Oh, whoops. Okay, I was not paying attention to what the boss was doing. Just like that, I'm back in. No, no, why couldn't I move? I got stun locked. Alright. 
You take the wrong fight! Crescent Moon! Lunar Here corruption! Charge up blade! Power up water! Get the time! Now you see what I can do! Stupid. Actually stupid. I still got some fight left in me. Everyone all right? We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you do, just please stay safe. Here's a healing arc. I have to train. How are we supposed to take on something so big? I'll handle it. Alpha. Watch and learn. That's enough. Nice. That is a similar way that we beat that first one too, huh? Okay, we got there. That last attack was stupid though. <laughs> I'm guessing jumping okay? would have protected us, but like our party just freaking yeah, died. I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Okay, so the power is the same as what's in our, um... In the lords... Uh, shit, I'm blinking on their name now. The, the, the orb things... The elemental orb things. So it's the same power. Obviously, when we broke one of them, um, then, you know, we saw what came out of uh, Balsef's, which was similar to this thing. So it's the same power, essentially. Perhaps what that means, I don't know. spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light... We must have prevented something from taking place here. So we got three more to do? I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. Yeah, it sounds to me like we got three other ones that we're gonna have to do too. Um, okay. Unrelenting Blaze. Max AG is up. I like it. Okay. Resistance plus 50. Incineration wave sounds good. And ground attack. So right now, I have that marked, which that's a good one to get. Increase critical, AG, weak point damage. All of those are good, honestly. Evasion distance, interesting. AG for you. Do we have an AG up at all? I don't think we do. No. A boss fish species, huh? Okay. Silver marlin. I think that was the one that we uh, saw in the ocean. Meal cooked sashimi. Um, I should check if we have that.
A secret key. The key to a certain door in Calaglia. Simply beholding it makes one wonder what lies beyond the threshold. Dude, I remember that door. Um, it's near the castle. There's there's a locked door near the castle on the outside. I think that I that's what that's my for. Precision improving. Is the ship going to be here? That's the question. Hey, is that it over there? <laughs> how'd you get here, dude? No, really, how'd you get here? I wonder if fighting enemies in there is a good way to farm gold chunks. They give you a lot of money, too. Might be a decent place to get some extra cash. Honestly, we haven't done that in a while. Okay. Hold on, I want to read what he said. Most can't imagine making it past that scorching gauntlet, least of all to come out the other side to find this piece of heaven. Yeah, how did you do it, dude? This guy is the truest mystery of them all. Turns out he's going to be the big bad of the whole game. Is uh, the peddler here. <laughs> he's obviously very powerful. Look at this ship, though. Awesome. <sighs> Alvin? Did you remember something? No, but I have seen this starship before. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenegas. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Damn! I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Turns out this fantasy yeah. epic is actually sci-fi. now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Like it or not, right? Thanks, you guys. Yeah, she stayed in the back. Shion still How's doesn't see look? herself as part of the group, it should you know? Fly. All internal systems Not seem fully. to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. <laughs> Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenegas once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. 
I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. It seems like a, uh... Works for me. No returning once you go, you know? Come on, girl. Start talking. Start talking. What are you dreading so badly? What are you dreading so badly? Funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenigus? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenigus. Yeah, you may be, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Shion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenigus and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenigus? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Shion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenigus who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenigus. And wherever she is... We should find the Renesalma, too. So that's all we're calling her, huh? That's the Red right. Woman. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. <sighs> Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. Maybe the Renesalma doesn't do what she says it does. Like, she says that she wants it to get rid of her thorns, <sighs> but I wonder if it's something else that she's actually after with it. a strange way for all of them to fall asleep. <laughs> Your party disbanded. Oh no. Where'd Shion <laughs> go? How could she just go off on her own? Could she be right over there? Can we see any other landmarks besides the big water city? From here, no. Why? <laughs> you okay? Just now, it looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that?
Yeah, okay. Stay out of my way. Your Sundere shit's pissing me off, girl. Is she gonna take the ship? Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! <laughs> whatever she's doing, she's doing it for them because she thinks whatever she's gonna I do is gonna get, get them hurt. That's that's my guess. I mean it. But still. I refuse to let you. Just communicate. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case. Then go ahead and shoot me! <laughs> if she doesn't start talking now, she's dead to me. <laughs> Swear to God. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, and Ivan K. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.